Oh my god! Cloud Song! You fucking stole my Cloud Song! Ninja Luke, the act of taking the spoils of a treasure hunt without asking for permission first. In the late 1990s, games such as Ultima Online and EverQuest gave birth to a new breed of electronic entertainment known as the massively multiplayer online role-playing game. In these games, players assumed control of an avatar and interacted with hundreds of thousands of other players in a persistent online gaming world. The online gaming phenomenon has grown to huge proportions with millions of gamers interacting with one another at any given time. From this online society of hardcore gamers, a new culture has been born. Without the burden of existing laws and social etiquette, gamers have formed their own culture, complete with its own language and social behavior. But with these hardcore gamers logging over 40 hours each week in their online games, more and more gamers are finding it increasingly difficult to distinguish between the gaming world and reality. What will happen then, should they bring their online behavior into the real world? What will happen to our world when it becomes a world of offline gaming? A world of leap guilds. The most powerful and elite players in a game gather in elite guilds where they can get together and mock lesser newbie players and marvel in their own greatness. Hey guys, check out what I got. Man, that's a noob's weapon. You gotta get yourself one of these epic beasts. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, can I join your guild? No! Wait, do you have any bubble weapons? No. Yeah, you gotta get yourself some lead bubble skills before you can join our guild. Get out of here, noob! Die, losers. No, you're a loser. Loser. A world of equipment envy. Possessing superior equipment in games is representative of one's status, so players seen with lower quality equipment are often looked down on and even mocked by other players with more elite equipment. Stay off the road, you noob! <laughs> Get yourself an epic car, you nub. A world of begging. The online gaming community is filled with newbie players who are too lazy to earn their own start and will congregate at populated areas and shamelessly beg veteran players for money and superior equipment. Hey man, can I get a few bucks to grab a bus no. of Ogrima, please? Come on, man, no. do it. Just a few bucks. No. Just to grab a bus of Ogrima, that's all. Get please, away from please. me. Please, come on, man. Just I said get bucks. away from come me, on, you noob. A world of farming. Farming is the practice of camping an area and repeatedly killing and looting the same creatures until a desired item is dropped. <laughs> before rushing in at the last moment to land the final death blow and stealing credit for the kill. She was such a bitch! Hey ladies, I'm new to this town. I was wondering if I could buy you girls some moonberry juice. Sure thing! Or oh, a couple troll mouse! <laughs> Hail to the war chief! Hail to the war chief! And then I said to him, get away from me, you noob! Oh my god, you're so funny! To new friends! To new friends! Hey, I better go get some money. Don't go anywhere, okay? Hey, girl. How about you and you come back to my place? Oh my god, can we? Hello? Where did everybody go? Yeah. A world of ganking. Brutality has no limits in the gaming world, and higher level players will often mercilessly hunt down lower level players, even to the point of waiting at the resurrection areas just to be able to bully them over and over again.
You got owned, bitch. Oh my god, I owned you again. Man, I can't even come up with anything witty to say anymore. You suck. Do you like bubbles? Why do you like them bubbles, bitch? <laughs>